hello and welcome back to Fahrenheit. So, so well, I've been playing it because I've been really occupied with reality. So let's jump into Lucas Kane, Agatha's house, where we actually receive his brother's letter about a person who can maybe help him to figure out what is going on. Let's take a look. Hmm. This is the street her house is on. There's no point looking any further. But wait, did I just peek into a, a different? Oh, wait. Hold on. Before I continue, am I? Yeah, I would, I saw the edge of the map. Oh, I shouldn't be too carried away for this. Hmm, 36. I can see that. This looks like a nice calm street, which I maybe want to live in. I don't know. Looks like a calm street indeed. Huh? Oh, I went too far. Okay, so she. Is this the one? Yeah, it's the one. That's the one. I. Here it is. Hello. Need to go inside, but <sighs> you know what? Let's go inside. Sorry for interrupting. Uh, oh, this is kind of creepy. Is there anyone here? Uh, miss. Oh, I see the card. Hmm. Are you in here? What is it? Are those are those crows in the cages? What? Really? Well, has she been? Oh, hey, pretty creamy pets. Really? Why would you have crows as pets? Is anyone at home? Please let there be someone home. Are you home? Candlesticks, an old grimoire. Weird atmosphere. Hmm. I don't want to be intruding, but... Sheets on all the furniture, as if the house hasn't been lived in for a long time. Why? That makes no sense. The birds are still alive inside the cage, but... Where is the person? Oh. Are... are you Agatha? Why do you want to talk to Agatha? Uh, Marcus sent me. Father Marcus Kane sent me here. I have a problem. I need to talk to her about it. A problem? And who on earth doesn't have problems? Is she blind? One need not have eyes to see. Oh, she is blind. Be kind, young man. Push me over to my birds. It'll be more comfortable for us to talk over there. Whatever you say, sir, ma'am. Wait, is there something more? The cupboard is locked. I want to help you, but I want to check some more. In case you have police watching over here. Oh. oh, this is really old bathroom stuff right here. Aha, uh -huh, I knew there was something hidden here. But yeah, this is really old fashionable. Oh, this is creepy. Okay, old lady, I shall help you since you're asking me. Let's see, how do I. Oh, behind. Okay, I try not to. Oh. Is 
you like running around. Wow, this is really hard to control. I'm not gonna joke. Oh, okay. I don't know, is this a door? Yeah, there's a door. Mm. I should really get myself a new haircut. Since my head set in this hair is killing me. Oh, this is the bird. Okay. There we are. The bird is such a unique animal. It can spend its entire life locked up in a cage and yet still keep on singing away. What brings you here, young man? Tell me, what is your cage like? Hmm, possessed? I killed a man. It, it was like I was possessed. I watched it all happen, but I had no control over my actions. Sounds like a rather commonplace story to me. Don't you think that it might simply be because you've gone mad? Vision. I had a vision of another man making exactly the same movements as me, and of a little girl who called out to me for help. In the cupboard, you will find a little bag of seeds. Be a good boy. Feed some to my little darlings, will you? How about you sit? Here and respond to my actions or questions that is let's see the lower part wait what's the upper part I wonder no okay lower part it is I was thinking maybe there's some card here but never mind it's a bird seed I guess nobody had this Okay, I give you some. I've learned that how to do it in order, I'm fine. Okay, I guess that's all of them. Oh, I messed up. No, okay. Uh, I guess I'll. My question. Uh, manifest manifestation. Have you experienced any other strange manifestations since then? Have you had any odd dreams or visions? Yes. I see things as if the reality in front of me was deforming, becoming horrible. Are oh. you able to attach anything concrete to your visions, such as a symbol or sign, maybe a word? When I regained control of myself, after the murder, this symbol had been cut into my wrist with a knife. A snake. Two open jaws. Oh, dear God. What does it mean? There's only one way for me to be sure. Please, push me into the sitting room. My pleasure, lady. No, just wrong direction. What do you see, lady? Am I there yet? Or... Oh, nothing happened. Oh, that's the exit. Oh, I feel so stupid right now. Sorry if I'm actually rolling you backward. It's just me and my stupid controlling. Ah, you're so difficult to control. There we go. Okay. Agatha. You'll find some candles in one of the cupboards. Take them and place them in the candle holders. There should be some matches in the kitchen. Go find them and light the candles. Okay. Matches in the kitchen. Got it. And then find candles. Wait, this is not the kitchen. God damn it. Ah. We're getting closer to the truth, I think. I don't know. I'm kinda curious what this demonish stuff is about. We're gonna summon Satan or is it 
or paranormal stuff. I don't know. It's interesting so far as I know. Let's see, is that the match? Yeah, it is the match. And a knife. I guess I had to pick that, that for sure. Okay. Candles. She mentioned candles. Uh, Where would you place candles? If I had candles, I would place it somewhere in the living room, yeah? Ah, it's there. No! Okay, uh, let's see what's down here. Nothing? <sighs> you know, no, for sure. There could be a card, even though I, I shouldn't care about it, but I do. Yeah, the candle. Okay, I got everything here. The candle, the candlestick. I mean, what? The candlestick. And the lighter. Well, matches to be more sure. Oh, you want me to put the rat? Okay, makes sense. It's still a beautiful game from now, from this day, because this is something you don't see. Too often for a PS2 game that is okay perfect we're almost ready to begin turn off the light close the curtains and sit down next to me okay let's see Ooh. oh stuff down oh wasn't supposed to check that okay there's a curtain Cover it. There we go. Oh, the other one. Why the Why does the curtain have to be covered? Okay, everything is too dark. Sit next to me, she said. Oh, the chair's over there. Okay, my my bad. Okay, can I sit? Uh, wait. I don't need to repeat. I just need to sit. Or am I missing a curtain? The clock has stopped. But I'm pretty sure I did everything. Sit next to me, she said. What the hell am I doing wrong? Wait, what? Uh, Agatha, am I doing something wrong because I can't... Okay, let's ask her. Repeat. Excuse me, could you tell me again what I'm supposed to do? Turn off the light. Close the curtains. And sit down next to me. Oh, turn off the light. Okay, got it. I don't have much time, Sonny. I'm sorry. Jesus. Wow. I just had to like it and suddenly like, I don't have much time, Sonny. Like, I never expected that. I'm so sorry. Oh, where the hell? Oh. It's even dark from a long time ago. How does this make sense? Oh, game logic. Wow. She really was. Stepping forward about that. Okay, there we go. The only way to understand what has happened to you is to try to go deep into your unconscious memory. Whoever it was that forced you to commit this murder has erased himself from your memory. But there still must be a trace in your unconscious. I can help you to locate it. It's an exhausting ceremony. And there's always a risk involved. Do you, or do you not wish to try it? Got no other yes, word. I do. Give me your hands. Now, close your eyes. I want you to empty your mind and open wide the doors to your unconscious. And let me enter there. Oh, it's not at all secret. Where are you, Lucas? I'm standing outside the restaurant. I want you to enter the restaurant now. Oh. 
Oh, that was a short film. I've gone into the restaurant. Oh. What do you see? I see some customers. And I see the waitress. Can you see the table where you were sitting? I'm looking. There's a police officer. He's sitting at the counter. Concentrate, Lucas. Now, walk to your table. I'm standing next to my table, but it's empty. You haven't arrived and sat down there yet? Yes, I have. My meal is already on the table. I, I think this is when I murdered him. I... Stay calm, Lucas. I want you to tell me exactly where you are. I guess, um, does... I'm... I'm in the restroom. And so is the other man. What's he doing? He's urinating. He doesn't suspect anything. And you, Lucas? Where are you? I don't know. I can't see myself. There I am. I was in a toilet stall. Oh my god. I'm holding a knife. He doesn't see me. Calm yourself, Lucas. Keep your concentration. I... I can't control my steps. I'm walking up behind the man. He doesn't see me. I don't want to. I don't want to, but I can't stop myself. I want you to re-enter the restaurant. But now, it is prior to going into the toilet stall. Do you understand, Lucas? Before. Also oh, going to back before everything happened. Where are you now? I'm in the restaurant dining room again. Are you sitting at your table? Yes, I am. I can see myself. What are you doing, Lucas? I'm eating. I'm eating and reading a book. A book? Yes. Shakespeare. The Tempest. What else do you see? I am subject to a tyrant, a sorcerer, that by his cunning hath cheated me of the island. What did you say? It's a passage from Shakespeare's Tempest. That's what you're reading, is it not? Yes. Hmm. Someone's coming toward me. A man. Who is it? A customer? I don't know. I think so. I can't see his face. And what does he say to you? I... I, I don't know. I, I can't remember. You must concentrate, Lucas. You need to remember. Hmm. It's one of my favorite books. A shame so few people read Shakespeare these days. Would you mind if I sat down for a moment? Ah, it's just that... The man sat down at my table and... Now the waitress is coming. Sir? A coffee, please. The waitress. It's as if she didn't see the man, like he was invisible. So much has been written about the Tempest, especially concerning the theme of magic. And now, what's happening, Lucas? I, I don't know. The man gives off a very <clears throat> strange energy. It's hard to describe. Hmm. Go on, Lucas. What happens after that? I think we're getting closer and closer. Do you believe in the power of magic? No, I don't. Listen, um... You're wrong. You know there's much more to our universe than can be perceived by the naked eye. Your coffee, sir. Thanks, Kate. Waitress has brought him his coffee, but she's talking to me as if I was the one who ordered it. She yeah. doesn't know that he's there. She can't see him. And now what's happening? 
Listen, I don't want to be rude, but I'd rather eat alone. Ooh. I'm paralyzed. I can't feel my body. I can't move. The man, Lucas. Where is the man? He, he stood up. He's gone out. He's in my head now. Oh. He controls me. Follow the man, Lucas. Hurry. I command you to follow that man closely. Oh, that's the guy. He's going out the rear door. Follow him. Your mind and his are now linked. You can see what he sees. What? That's not him. You know who that man was, don't you, Agatha? No. I don't know. I'm not sure who he is. Yes, you do know who he is. You understood it all as soon as you felt the scars on my arms. What do these symbols mean, Agatha? Tell me what that man's done to me! You should go now, Lucas. There's nothing more that I can do for you. You could at least explain what the hell's happening to me! He made me kill a man! I want to know! I need to know! I have to verify certain things. There's nothing more I can tell you today. Come back tomorrow night at the same time. I'll explain more then. Okay, you better be. Oh, that was really weird. Let's go with Carla. Training Sergeant Mitchell, that's him, in the second to last row. Thanks. Why am I here? Oh yeah, am I doing the case for the missing woman who got classified? Can see is there some secret? No? No secret this time? Uh, by my, ah, camera angle. Yep. Okay, this is a good guy. Sergeant Mitchell? Yes? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions concerning one of my investigations? Young lady, I haven't worked in investigations for a long time. I doubt I can be much help. It's concerning an old case, but I'm still looking into it. The Kirsten case? Because you ah. can't locate the file, is that right? Yes, that's right. The file's been classified. How'd you like to do some target practice with me? Sure. Why not? <sighs> I guess. Glasses, always good for protection. Headset for your ears. Because you can your be gun deaf. Is right in front of you. Go ahead. Almost deaf as me. I'm half deaf, so. I'll just play full volume. Shoot and reload. Got it. Wait. Oh, I shot the civilian or. I'm not doing this. Oh, the more I shoot, the more points I can I get, I guess. Not something I want to waste my time on. It's not my kind of thing, a cage. Come on. Hey, what? 
Okay, calm this down. Come on. Hey, what? God damn it. Get. Hey, I saw you. No. God damn it. No, you're not the one. God damn it. You're a very uh, good shot. I have to say you're a heck of a lot better than most I see around here. <laughs> Thank you. So, what do you want to know about the Kirsten case? Well, for instance, what exactly happened? A guy named Kirsten's calmly shopping in his local supermarket. He's in the kitchen accessories aisle. When someone picks up a knife and stabs him. Hmm. Wait, is that Link? Did he know his victim? No, at least the investigation never found a connection. Apparently, it was uh, temporary insanity. Hmm, let's see the killer. Was the killer apprehended? He didn't move from the spot. We found him sitting on the floor next to the victim. He was waiting for us with this blank stare on his face. Hmm. For a file. Did he have any history of drug addiction or previous psychiatric problems? That's the first angle I looked into, but no. No drugs, no drinking, just a very normal Joe. Family man, wife and kids, good neighbor. Maybe he just cracked, lost it for a moment. Some people are like time bombs just waiting to go off. That's the first theory I had, until I saw the coroner's report. Each knife entry cut cleanly into an artery, leading to the heart with perfect accuracy. A decision like that, I mean, the guy had a one in a million chance of doing that. Even if he'd been a surgeon. Hmm. Wait, so you're gonna do more practice? Can we not do that? Okay, fine. Since you're one of those American drinking happy women, I guess. Mm. Do I really have to? Well, if it is trophies in this game, I might just do it as well. And then quickly reload. Like she knows how she's handling it. Hey. Oh shit, I shot him. And no! I shot a character I'm not supposed to do. been showing on the top screen and I am really concerned about this. Come on! You barely giving me time to do anything. Excellent target. Looks like you're a natural. Yeah, thank you. Investigation. You didn't stop your investigation there, did you? No, this case really intrigued me. What could have motivated him to do something? I mean, I checked out piles of leads and, and discovered almost by accident that this wasn't the first. There had oh. been other killings with the same profile. You mean where the killer had the same bizarre M.O. and stuck around afterwards? Exactly. Three weeks earlier, on the other side of town, another stabbing victim in the middle of the street, no motive. Then I discovered a third case, two months prior to that. Then another, and another, and always the same M.O. 
weird. So it's linked, kind of. You mean to say the killings are all connected? No idea. All I know is that the murders were basically identical. He slices the arteries leading to the heart, slices them cleanly, and then carves a symbol on his own arms. Hmm. Who's the case? And your investigation into the supermarket killing. Did it lead anywhere? You should drop this one, Detective. This is not just a murder case. There's something very odd going on behind the scenes. Looks like I'll be starting a new file. More shooting practice? No, thank you. Well, I did ask me to pick up a new one, so... Hmm. I'd worked good and hard on the investigation. Done everything really? Carla had asked. Now I just wanted to relax and play some b-ball. And also settle the little score I had with Jeffrey. Oh, oh dear. Um, make fun. Yo, nice thread, Jeffrey. Very stylish, my man. You got me totally psyched out in that shit. Silly. Right. Okay, here's the rule. First to score 10 points wins the game and $200. Is that cool for you? You can kiss your money goodbye. We'll see. Let's do it. Oh. Jesus, not one of the... Speed what? technique. Kill a ball handle. Watch I... and learn, bro. Oh, that's cheating. Yeah. Hmm. Come on. Oh, I still did it. I'm just missed two. Okay. Boom! The more I see you play, Jeffrey, the more I think you should take up chess. I think this song is copyrighted, so. So if it seems to be like end of music. Yeah! I don't like it when music, uh, video games have like great music and then you realize it's copyrighted. It's just lame. But yeah. God damn it! Yeah! Come on, let's make this short. Woo! <laughs> I hate fast in real life, but this is real entertaining. Yeah! Ah, I wonder if I get a trophy for being this badass. Yeah! Now that was pure poetry in motion. I win. Loser. No, oh, this is the best. He hits the lane, he drives and he scores. Ladies and gentlemen, that's our play of the day. I haven't got the trophy for it. I guess it's for perfection, Yo, I don't know. You D up pretty good for a white cop. You ain't so bad yourself. You got oh. some game. Maybe oh. I should have mentioned I did the ball at college. So, as for the hundred, it's game over. You're a real SOB, Tyler. Mm -hmm. I know, and that's why you like me, Jeffrey. Ah, <laughs> uh, you guys are so sweet. Ah. Uh. Oh. 
I'm, I'm gonna end the episode right here and continue next. I'm not gonna let go of this series because I really want to figure out what's happening. There's so much happening. <sighs> so I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you.